Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I hope you had a nice Easter. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy and at least keeping a little busy um, and doing okay. All right, so welcome back. We are going to move on to our next tutorial. Um, so we're done with this guys here and we're moving on to 6.3, okay? Um, and so this is gonna be a tutorial where we learn about passing information using text fields and variables, okay? So these are sort of the key things that we're gonna be talking about in this tutorial. Um, now, before I do talk about that, let me just explain what a variable is, first of all. Um, the way I like to explain a variable in class, a variable is a, an envelope, okay? It basically just holds some information. Um, it can be a box, it can be a, 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 a file folder, whatever. It just holds information. Um, so, for example, uh, the, the, the example I usually use, use in class is how many kids were late for class during period one, okay? So the bell goes um, and everyone sits down, we start class, and then five minutes later, a kid walks in late. Um, and I just add a number one into my little box of number of kids that are late. And then 10 minutes later, another kid walks in and I add another number into that same box. Now that number says two. Um, and then, you know, 15 minutes later, one more kid comes in and I add in a three and that kid says oh sorry sir i wasn't late i was talking to the, the vp or i was you know helping in the library okay that that changed that from three back to two okay so that variable is just counting a number of um that in this specific instance the number of kids who are late okay and it can change up or down um so those are that's what a variable is um and that can be a number of things it can be you know number of kids late for class it can be number of kids at a uniform it can be your score in a game it can be the number of lives you have left in a game it can be the score in a, a hockey game whatever okay um, and so that that's what a variable is now there are different types of variables okay um, and we'll be learning about three well four different kinds okay um, the first example is called a string now a string is just a string of letters in a row okay letters or numbers um, so it could be like your name or a license plate okay if your license plate is um, a b c d one two three that's your license plate that is a string of of characters okay and that would be uh, an example of a string variable okay um you uh your name for example um you know your name is bill robinson okay that is a, a string of characters it doesn't have any specific meaning assigned aside from what we assign to it meaning it's you but that that list of care of letters or uh, characters that's your name. Your password. Okay, if your password is password one two three, that would be um, a string of characters. Okay. Now those characters can be letters A to Z. They can also be um, numbers well, zero through nine. Okay. Uh, and we'll come back to the difference between a string with numbers in it and an integer and a number in a second. Okay. So that's string, the first type. The second type uh, and the third type are actually very similar. So integer and number. Okay. An integer and a number. So an integer is a whole number, um, and a number is a number that includes or can include a decimal point, okay? So, for example, an integer, the example I gave earlier, the, a number of kids that are late, that has to be a whole, a whole number. I can't have one and a half kids late. Either it's a, a one or a two or three kids are late, okay? Um, and that is an, a good example of an integer. Um, your age, when you're putting down your age on a form, how old are you? I'm 16. Okay, you're not exactly 16. You're rounding up to 16 or down to 16 or whatever it is, okay? Um, so those are integers, okay? You would be 16 years old. You would, you, you know, I had five kids late, period one, whatever that is, okay? Whole numbers. Um, a num, so now integer is usually abbreviated INT when we're talking about variables, okay? Just INT. A number, okay, uh, with a decimal point is usually abbreviated NUM, just num. Okay, uh, and that would be your actual age. Okay, so if you are 16, when you say you're 16, you're actually 16.35 or 16.59 or whatever your actual age is, okay, in exact numbers with decimal, that would be a number, okay, if we're, if we're doing a, a variable using numbers. Okay, your average, okay, your average mark in all your four classes, you have an 80.4, okay, that's your average, that is a, a number with the decimal, okay? So, so far we've got string, which is a bunch of characters, integer, which is a whole number, num or number, which is a, a number including decimal points. Now there's a, a range that this can, can be between, but don't worry about that for now. The last type that we'll talk about, and we won't do too much with this, but you should know the name is Boolean, okay? B-O-O-L-E-A-N, Boolean. And a Boolean variable is basically one thing or the other, and it has to be one, it can't 
be neither and it can't be both okay and the example that I give is a light switch okay a light switch is either on or a light switch is off it can't be something else that's the only option it has right it's got you know you switch it on it's not off it is on you switch it off it is off it is not on there's no other options got it okay um, an example of that would be true or false okay all right so those are like the four variables we'll be talking about okay I hope that makes sense if not Google it okay so let's do something with this so here's our, our tutorial and uh, here's what we're going to be doing so I've opened up a new scratch um, document I've named it last name demo you don't have to do the demo part I'm just demonstrating it so last name dash six dash three which is what you'll name your file okay um, all right so we don't need the cat we're gonna dump the cat and we're gonna add in some new um, sprites okay so we're gonna add in a ball and then I'm gonna duplicate that ball so that I've got three copies of it okay so move this one move this one this one. Okay, so I'm going to put those here and I'm going to just line them up. So minus 90. Okay. Better. Just like that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go get character. This one. And we'll put our little chicken right there. Okay, so those are our characters, and we're all set up now. Um, we're going to add a couple of pieces of information to each of these um, sprites. Okay, and those are going to be used to pass or to remember, remember some information, and then also to pass that information. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to on our first ball, okay, we're going to add a little bit of, of um, code, some, some code blocks, okay? So the first thing we're going to say is, let's go to our events, and I'm going to say when this sprite, okay, this sprite, number one, ball one, when this is uh, clicked, okay, we're going to set a variable, okay? Now, variable is, like I said, the thing that it's going to be remembering. So let's go down to variables, which is this orange dot down here, okay? And we're going to say, set my variable to a given number. So let's take this. I set my variable to let's call it one okay and what that's going to do is it's going to say when i click on this thing we're going to make the value of my variable one now so to see what happens let's just take this box or this um uh oval here we're going to well i want to put this up here i think i have to like check this there okay click on the the checkbox there and it shows up here my variable okay so if i run this thing and i click here you'll see that it updates my variable to one Okay, because I said when this sprite is clicked, set my variable to one. I'm going to add the same thing on each of these. Okay, so actually I'll go back to ball one. I'll click here and I'm going to command C or um, if you're on a PC, control C. Okay, and I can actually paste this. Okay, command P, paste that there, change this to two because now I'm on the second ball. Go to ball three, paste this here, and change this to three. Okay, so I'll run this, or reset everything. Okay, and I run this, and when I click here, right now it's updating with the information. It's setting that variable into two, or into one, or into three, depending on which one I click. Okay, and it's just running this. When this spread is clicked, set my variable to three. Okay, great. That's pretty straightforward. The next thing I want to do is I want to use that information. So right now I'm I'm collecting and I'm storing that information. Okay, I now want to use that information to do something with it. So say I'm playing a game and I've got lives. This shows me num my number of lives, uh, and I've got to demonstrate that. Every time I die, I've got to change my variable down to 2 or down to 1 or whatever it is. Okay, and when it gets to a certain number, I can use that information to say your game is over or whatever. All right, once I've done that, I need to add in a little bit of code because I need to use this for something. We're going to go to broadcast. So we're going to go up here to broadcast a message. Okay, so let's take broadcast. I'm going to put this under each of these we're going to broadcast a message each time we do this spread click, okay? Because we're going to be sending a message to our chicken. Let's go to our chicken. Chicken is going to be listening for a message. It's going to be listening for message one. And when it receives message one, it's going to do a specific thing, okay? We're going to tell it to say something, okay? So let's go up to our say, which is up here somewhere here, okay? We're going to say hello, 
Not uh, making sense. So instead of saying hello, we're going to say my variables. We have the variables. All right, there's my variable. All right, let me just take this and drag it here. Okay, so when I receive message one, say my variable. So now what's going to happen is going to spit out the words one, two, two. Okay, so you don't have to have this if I uncheck this. I can just have this now spitting out. Okay, this is just to view your variable while you're working. If you want to see, say you have a number of variables, um, you know, time left in, uh, in the game or level or score or lives. You can have all these turned on by adding new variables. We won't do that today, but that's something you can add to okay, if you want to keep track of them. And then when you turn them off, you can remove them here. And that is still being stored, okay, in your, it's still being stored in the memory of your computer. Okay, one, two, three, whatever. Okay, I'll turn that back on for now. Great. Next. Um, I also want to do something more than just three. So here it's saying, bra uh, sorry, let's go back to the chicken. Okay, so when I receive message one, say my variable. I want it to say more than just that. So I'm going to go up to operators, which is here. Okay, and I'm going to join two things together. So here it says join apple and banana. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one to say you chose and I'm going to put a, actually I'll take the space out of there on purpose and I'm going to put my variable in here okay now notice that this oval this oval was here right say my variable if I take this and put it here this shape is still an oval because this will actually fit in here okay so I can replace my variable which is going to do this right with you chose my variable and replace that with this and now this will now say now, I specifically didn't leave a space here just to show you guys. When I click this, you chose one, you chose two, you chose three. If I want a space there, I've got to put this in the string. Okay, you chose space, and then it'll leave a space between. Okay, so it's giving me that string, which is you chose, including the space, and then it's concatenating or adding my variable to the end of that character. Okay, you chose one, you chose two, you chose three. Okay, and that's it. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, give that a shot. Save your work uh, with your name, 6-3, and share your project so I can see it. Um, and I think that should be it for now. We'll try something new again tomorrow. Okay, have a great day, guys. Bye.